Should we be able to make changes to the Idaho's Constitution? Well, sure, it's just not exactly easy. But some Idaho House lawmakers hope to do just that, one that would keep Idaho's legislative districts at 35. That's where it is now. Well, this bill now heads to the Senate, where if two-thirds of the Senate vote yes, then the voters would get to decide in November if, in fact, we want to keep districts at 35. No more, no less. So why does that number matter? Well, Joe Paris talked through an idea with House Speaker Scott Bedke. You know, we want more representation and smaller legislative districts. And that's what this would help do. This is House Joint Resolution 4. So, Scott Bedke, what would this constitutional amendment do? To keep the number of legislative districts at 35. Idaho has been at that number for more than three decades, but the state constitution actually allows for less. As few as 30 districts. But Bedke and his co sponsors say they want to amend the Constitution to avoid having less than 35. Here's why. If we have fewer districts, then they just have to get larger geographically. And we have some right now that span nearly from Oregon clear to Montana. So why now? We only redistrict the state every 10 years. And so this is the last chance we'll get to change it before we do the redistricting process. And so it's important that everybody get counted. And then it's important that we draw the lines in a way that is fair uh, to all citizens. Speaker Bedke says this won't gerrymander districts, meaning the amendment isn't meant to redraw the districts for political gain. This has nothing to do with gerrymandering. This has nothing to do with the makeup of the redistricting commission. People have been worried about that, but this, this doesn't change one thing there. If the number of districts is low, just doing the math and we all would represent more citizens and then you as a citizen would have less access to your legislator. So the resolution passed the House with 65 yes votes and only three no votes. We wanted to know why were there only three no votes? Republican Priscilla Giddings tells me that she voted no in part because the entire state Republican Party, she says, passed a resolution saying in part that they strongly encourage the Idaho legislature to entertain a bill to change the Idaho Constitution to a legislature that consists of no more, no, sorry, not less than 35 and no more than 45. And she says because it doesn't do that, she doesn't want to go along with this idea. She adds that this actually would also cost $200,000 just to maintain the status quo. Meanwhile, Democrat John McCrossey says that he voted no because generally he is not in support of altering the Constitution without a very important need. He adds that until the marriage equality ban is removed from the Idaho Constitution, he will not be supporting any constitutional amendments. Brian, again, it passed the House. It'll now go to the Senate. And if it gets two thirds support there, it'll be on your ballot in November. OK, so Representative Giddings wants to go the other direction. Increase it tonight to 45. The downside of that would be what? I know that some people are concerned that if you add districts, then you would be creating new areas and that at the point you would have to be drawing lines and then there's concerns with gerrymandering. Uh, and again, that's redrawing districts. Yeah. So there would be a political gain for one party or another. People were really upset with that some. And so I think that the idea behind Speaker Bedke's idea is to keep it at 35. So there's no concerns about gerrymandering. OK, so it's not about a number of representatives or people that are in. I got gotcha. you. It's about the because like Idaho County is huge. Yeah, but it's got this roughly it's supposed to have the same amount of people as the other counties because each representative is supposed to represent the same amount of people. That's why some of these counties are so big because you have to go so far yeah. to find the same amount of people. And the fear is if you have less districts, then you're going to have even bigger counties. And practically, it's tough for legislators to get all the way across a huge area to represent all their constituents. All right, we'll see. Could be a vote to us. We could decide this if it goes that far. All right, thank you, Joe.